What is up guys, it's Simon from PianoPig.com and if you're new to the channel, I teach jazz, blues and neo soul piano and my goal is to help you become the best player you can possibly be in the most efficient way possible. So the other day I was watching one of Jacob Collier's Tiny Desk performances and I've watched it a bunch of times and it honestly just blows my mind. So Jacob, if you're watching this, bloody good stuff. Anyway, in the last tune he performed, He Won't Hold Me, the progression, the harmony, the movement, all of it is just unbelievably beautiful and I wanted to break it down and show you what's going on. And if you enjoy this and get value from all the other videos on my channel, then have a think about joining me inside the Piano Pig Academy, where you can get access to all of my exclusive courses, a private community, live Q&A sessions, and a whole bunch of other cool stuff to help you on your piano journey. And at the time of making this video, we're actually offering the first month for just $1. So click the link in the description and hopefully I'll see you there. But for now, let's head over to the piano and learn this beautiful Jacob Collier progression. Let's start by having a quick listen to Jacob perform this progression. I've been feeling down and out. Baby, since you left me, it's been so long since your body held me. It really gets me that one. Whew. Anyway, let's have a look at what's happening. In the key of C major, this is how it sounds. So it's quite a gospel-y kind of progression, and the inner movement is just lovely. So we start with this, an A minor seven. Nice and simple, with lots of space. We've got the root, flat seven, and flat three. We then move to this. Now, this is actually just a straight G major. See, if I moved this B up an octave, you can see it's just a G major triad, except that he's kept the B in the bass, playing the G in its first inversion, which then creates this lovely movement between the bass and melody. It's moving together in tenths, and at the same time, we've got this note G in the middle, which doesn't change, which keeps some stability and just sounds beautiful. So we've got an A minor 7 to a G major and then we come to here which gives us a C major root, 5 and 3 and this keeps that lovely 10th interval between the bass and melody whilst continuing to keep that middle G the same It's actually very simple, but also very creative, and sometimes the most beautiful music is simple. And we finish this first phrase by landing on an F major. So this is the voicing I'm playing for this F. I've got the root, 5, 9, and then the 3, 5, 13, 7, and 9 again up at the top. I don't know if Jacob uses this voicing for the F, but I quite like it. So all together. And then we've got this. And what a way to answer that first phrase. A lovely example of call and response. So what have we got going on there? 
Well, we start with this. This is an F sharp minor seven flat five. We've got the root, flat three, flat five, flat seven, and also the flat three in the bass, which means we're playing this chord in its first inversion. We follow this with a G7 sus. We've got the root, seven, nine, and 11. And this resolves very nicely into a C major. And for this voicing, I'm playing the root, five, and nine in the left hand, with the three, five, six, and root again up at the top for the melody. And that's the progression, a real pleasure for the ears to listen to. So the real bare bones of this, just the melody and bass, sounds like this. I mean, that alone is quite special. And when we fill it in with all those beautiful harmonies, That is really something. And you could play around with those voicings and fill them out a bit. Just make sure to keep the melody and the bass the same. And that's it for this video guys. I just had a real urge to share this progression because it's really been blowing my mind with its simplicity and depth. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new content and I will see you next time.